Hi, welcome to another amazing boot production. Hope you enjoy the video. Wait, a boot production? I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but this is still an awesome Rusty Rex production. No, 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 no. This is a boot production. Trust me. Guys, this is still an awesome Rusty Rex production. Don't tell Booth. I heard that! I would like to thank all my awesome Patreons for all your support. If you would like to become a Patron of this channel, the link is in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to leave an awesome comment down below. Hello everybody, I'm Awesome Rusty Rex, and I'm back with yet another video to entertain my fellow Fuzz Buddies. Today, I'm making a video called Top 10 Things First Hitters Hate. It's a video from 10 to 1. 10 being okay, it's bearable, and 1 being don't go there, don't do that, because you'll get smacked. Without further ado, let's get into this. Number 10 is dragging fursuiters away from conversations. Yes, now I've had this happen to me a few times where I've gone to a con and I've had people come up to me and they think it's appropriate just to snatch me away from my friends where I'm having a nice conversation. You don't do that. You just, you ask, you, you know, you don't just pull someone away from a conversation and expect them to join you in a conversation. Just, just, just nicely, just nicely ask, hey, can I come over, can you, can you come over here and, and talk to me for a second? That's what you do. You don't just, you know, grab someone and just assume you can, it, that's not on. You shouldn't even be grabbing people in the first place. It's like, it's like, what are you, what are you doing? It's like, corners, right? Corners. If you haven't figured out what number nine is, it is scritching. Yes, scritching. If you don't know what scritching is, it's where you literally get your hand and you just go. You just, you're basically just doing that. It's, 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 it's just. What, what is that? It's, we can't feel that. Like you scritch. It might be like tickling, but we, we, we literally can't feel it through the foam. It's all the fur. It's, if you're gonna do scritching, please ask the first suitor first because a lot actually don't like it. It's, it's kind of. It's kind of rude just to walk up to a fursuiter and just go Especially this area like like it's okay if you do the cheeks and stuff, but still always ask But I don't really See the point in it and a lot of other fursuiters don't either. It's like yeah, we can't actually feel anything. It's That's it's 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 foam. Hello Like we can't it's, we got fur and we got foam on you can't feel it But please always ask people before you scritch it might seem cute, but it's not always cute. And sometimes it can be very inappropriate. Have <laughs> you haven't figured it out? Number eight is hugging too long. Yes. there. <laughs> There is a such thing as hugging too long. And this isn't just for people out of suit. This goes for people in suit hugging other suitors. Please, just don't be the creepy person that just holds on for a very long time and, and <laughs> doesn't want to let go. It's just... Just remember, that, like being in suit is very hot. But when you start hugging other people, it just makes it so much hotter. And the longer you do hug someone, the, the more awkward it's going to feel for them next time they see you. They're not going to want to hug you because they know if they hug you, you're just going to not want to let go. So just, you watch how long you hug someone for. I'm going to say about, hug someone for about four seconds. That's, I'll, I'll, I'm just guessing here. <laughs> oh, bloody, hi! <laughs> What did I do? 
hugging from behind there is no appropriate time to be hugging a suitor from behind we can't see we literally can't see behind us we don't know what's there it is very dangerous to come up behind a suitor and just and just hug them like it is not a good feeling when someone just grabs you from behind when you're in a suit and you, you do you have no idea who it is it's like if you're gonna approach a fursuiter please always approach a fursuiter from the front like just so we know who you are and if you want to hug open up your arms and we're more than happy to but please do not grab us from behind it, it is so dangerous like I've seen people fall over face first because someone's grabbed them gone to grab them behind and they've just like literally just all of a sudden just fallen over because this person's been behind them please do not hug from behind it's simple just walk around just walk around that's all you have to do just walk around just walk around okay Number six is laying on worn out suitors. Yes, worn out suitors. You know, sometimes they look like they're laying on the ground with some friends, just having fun and all that kind of stuff. And it's all cute and you want to lay on them. You should, you should still be asking permission to freaking lay on a first suit anyway. But just remember how hot it gets in the suit. Sometimes when you see a suitor laying down or sitting down or whatever, they're actually trying to cool down and you climbing on them is really not a good idea. That's really not a good idea to freaking lay on a hot fursuiter. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want to deal with that. It's like, if, if you're worn out and hot, do you want someone laying on you? Like, it's, it's okay if you ask permission and they say, yeah, it's, yeah, fine, we can play around. But don't just go rocking up, seeing a fursuiter and just climb on them. Because you, you don't know if they're like exhausted and they just need to rest for a little bit or they're playing. Very self-explanatory. Is that the word I'm looking for? Self-explanatory? I'm not quite sure if it's the word I'm looking for, but I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, extremely rude if you are rooming with someone and they have fursuits and you try them on. I have had Rusty before in a, a room and I actually did catch someone wearing Rusty. Like, putting, well, he, he hadn't actually had put him on yet, but he had the hand paws on and he was holding the head like he wanted to put him on. That's not cool. That fursuits do cost a lot of money, so kind of just ask the, the owners of the fursuit if it's okay. Most of the time, fursuiters are more than happy to have you try their suit on. Like, they know what it's like never having tried a fursuit on. You know, we all, all start off at one point in our life without fursuits and all that kind of stuff. So we know what it's like wanting to try a fursuit on for the first time. So please don't just put someone else's fursuit on. Always ask permission, especially if you're sharing a room with someone, because I guarantee if they catch you wearing their fursuit without their permission, they're going to get very angry and probably kick you out of their room. Always ask permission, okay? It's just simple. Ask permission. Hey! No! No, 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 no. There is nothing worse than this. Before you ever hug a fursuiter, I don't care who you are, you always make sure that your hands are clean. I, like, even if they don't look clean, have another good look at them and just see how, if they're dirty. There's, there is nothing like seeing a nice white fursuiter get hugged with dirty hands and they leave dirt stains. From just, even opening a door can make your hands dirty. Just, you know, just have a look at your hands and just, are these clean or are these aren't clean? If you have to hesitate to think about whether they're clean or not, they're probably not clean. So do, do yourself a favour and do the first suit a favour and wash your hands because, you know, first suits cost a lot of money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a really nice tail. Wow, wow. Oh, really plush. Wow. You make my toes 
you know how much that costs to fix? Uh. <laughs> now I think that video explained very well on what number three is, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Number three is pulling on tails. Yes, pulling on tails. Tails can be very expensive and they can be even more expensive to fix. I had a friend at Ferdu 2017 that actually had a little kid try to swing on her tail and like ripped it com it ripped completely off. Almost ruined her whole, whole con. Luckily, she has a first seat maker who's a friend. It is so not cool. I've, I see older people doing, I see, you know, teenagers, young people, pulling on tails, grabbing tails, also grabbing ears and all that kind of stuff, but I won't get into that. You want to get someone's attention, walk around and look at them. No one wants you to touch the tail. It is very hard to fix a ripped tail, especially with the, the loops. It is very hard to sew those back on, especially if they rip from the inside of the tail. Think common sense, would you want someone doing that to your fursuit? And don't be a smart ass and say, oh, I don't care. Because I'm pretty sure you would if you had to pay another hundred and something dollars to get your tail fixed. Now wouldn't ya? Yes. Oh yes you would. Oh yes you would. I guess it's been a good day. Look who did it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna I tell the truth about this. This was a lot of fun to film. If you haven't guessed what number two is, number two is poking fursuits inappropriately. Now, you're asking yourself, what does Rusty mean by poking fursuits inappropriately? <sighs> you see these eyes, you see the mouth, you see the nose. No fursuiter wants you to poke. Like, I've seen people go, oh, what's that stuff made of? Like, oh, what's this? What's that? Oh, how do you, oh, what's, what's this in here? <sighs> there is a, such a thing as personal space. People wear fursuits to get away from that kind of stuff. They don't want people poking their freaking finger in your eye and in your nose and personal space. No matter if someone is in a fursuit or out of a fursuit, personal space is still there. It's like, if you don't do it when they're out of fursuit, don't do it when they're in fursuit, okay? Eyes cost a lot of money to fix, the mouth costs a lot of money to fix, the whole thing can cost a lot of money to fix, so you think about that before you start poking someone else's fursuit and potentially damaging it. It's, it's like, don't do it. Don't do it. If you don't do it, then it's, it's all good. You don't have to pay to get fixed, okay? And people will get angry at you if you don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey Blue! Yeah. What's up? What's up? That's good. Hey, you want a hug? Yeah! Yeah, sure, let's go. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. What? <gasps> Number one is hugging inappropriately. <sighs> Guys, hands. This goes for girls too. Hands here, not here. Hands up here. Hand not down there. That's a no. You think about it this way. If you don't do it when they're out of suit, you definitely don't do it when they're in suit. Just because they're wearing a suit doesn't give you permission to touch or feel or do anything else to someone else. You can get in trouble by the police. You can get kicked out of a con. Remember, if you wouldn't do it when they're out of suit, you don't do it when they're in suit. Hand up here. When they're hugging someone, this is a hug, okay? Hugs stay up here. You don't bring this hand down. That's not cool. And fursuits are not consent, okay? So back up, don't do it, just stop. I really hope you like this video, top 10 things fursuiters hate. I had so much fun filming it with you guys. I'd like to thank all the people at Ferdu, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mini Pie and Boof, the carib caribou. I'll put their links down below for their channels. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. But as for always, you're awesome. You're one of a kind. I'm out.